Salvation Week, just here at Mrs. John's house, just to drop off very carefully and very quietly without her knowing her winning chocolates. Um, try and be quiet, I'll try and do this without any noise. Got the winning, winning chocolates at Mrs. John's. There you go. Ah! Disappointing. No! No! Well, that silent approach did not go well. Thank you, Mrs. Johns and Jessica. Now, on to this week's Outstanding Learners. Woof! So, first up, J2. J2, you've caught me in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. I'm trying to track down a very special creature. No, it's not the jaguar. You've seen how fast I run. I'd never catch one of those. No, not the boa constrictor either. That slithered off earlier. And before you ask, it's not the three-toed sloth. They take forever to do anything. I'd never get my movie finished. No, the creature I'm looking for is called the Lesser Spotted home learner of the week. They're very rare. Quite busy too, very productive. A bit like the worker bees, always sending me the English, the maths, their afternoon activities, and so well behaved. When they're in the normal habitat, the school classroom, they never give me any trouble at all, always following the cherished values, not like some other cheeky chimps I could mention. Hang on, I think I've heard something. I'll see you later. Gotcha! My home learning star of the week for consistent effort and hard work is you, Poppy. Well done, Poppy. Keep up the great work. On to J6. Morning, everyone. The rep learner of the week for J6 is a girl. And she's tried hard with every work that she has completed since lockdown. And she's done it at a very good standard. Well done to Sophie. Wow! This is Nursery One. Welcome to Belgrave New Nursery News. We had a fat week at nursery and school. Oh, hang on, there's a news flash coming. Who has been eating all baby bear's porridge? Who broke his chair? Oh. And there is a strange girl sleeping in baby bear's bed. Over to Mrs. Steele for further information. Mrs. Spouts might know who went into the Three Bears house and ate all the porridge and broke Baby Bear's chair and who is asleep upstairs in Baby Bear's house. Let's see if she knows. Hello, Mrs. Steele. I really don't know who did all of those things, but I know some children who probably do know because they've been doing some fantastic home learning this week. It is Amira Hussein and Fatima Kauza, they have been drawing pictures, reading stories, writing, cutting and sticking. They've been amazing. So I bet they know who did all of those things in the Three Bears Cottage. Fabulous. Let's go to I1. Good morning, I1. It's Friday. Yay. And it means you get to find out the remote learner of the week. Such a difficult one again. I've had lots of children completing all the tasks set and I have really struggled to choose just one. To be honest, I've chosen two. Both of these children do complete their work at a very, very high standard. Just look at their writing. And Mrs. Dennis is super impressed with their phonics work too. So, are you ready to listen to some clues? It is a boy and a girl. They both live together and they are twins. That's right, it's Evelyn and Jack. They, 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 they. Sing with me. They, 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 they. Well done to you two. Keep up the good work. Over to J7. Hope you're all okay. I know how hard you've all been working this week again. Whether you've been in school or at home, the work that you are producing is absolutely fantastic. So a massive well done to you all and please keep it up. 
it's been really tough to choose a star of the week this week because so many of you have impressed me. However, I have come to my decision. And the reasons I've chosen this person is because of the standard of work that she has produced over the week. It has been of such an amazing quality. She's taken part in every single lesson. She's produced extra keynotes, extra presentations. She's sent me photographs of her baking. She's taken part in all the extra activities. I'm so impressed with all of her hard work and she really deserves this award. Now I've got somebody extra special to help me announce who the winner is. On to reception. Across to J3. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all well. Um, another great week in J3. Lots of um, hard work going on. Um, but one person in particular has been working so hard. There were so many children um, to choose from. It was a very difficult uh, decision. But like I said, one person in particular has really tried his best. Um, hundred percent effort in everything, um, and here are a few examples of what he's created this week. How amazing! Fantastic work from Bright this week. Well done, Bright. You are our star learner of the week. We'll jump into I three. Belgrave. I hope everyone's okay and doing well. Can I please just say a huge congratulations to the I3 children who are submitting all of their work every day. Fantastic, thank you very much. I've had a really hard choice again this week of who to pick, but I'm gonna go with somebody who I think has done a fantastic job in keeping fit and healthy and active. And lockdown is sometimes quite hard to keep yourself healthy. I believe I'm keeping healthy they're not mine. Um, so this child has sent me a video of her doing some workouts from the PE video that we sent. Have a look. So I want to say a huge congratulations and well done to Zia. Well done Zia. Okay, let's go to Mrs. DeVille's Staff Award. Good morning, Belgrave. I'm hiding in a cupboard because there are two people who are going to win my chocolate bars this week. And if I talk any louder, they'll be able to hear me. So I have to be quiet. These two people have been in work every single day since we had to go into lockdown and they've been doing all kinds of different jobs that aren't usually their jobs, but they're doing them anyway. Every single day, turning up for work, smiles on the faces, never letting us down. Huge, huge, huge thank you and massive well done to Mrs. McNally in the office and Mrs. Morgan for being absolute superstars. Your chocolate bars are on the way. Thank you. And across to N2. Two 
And over to J1. Hello babe, I hope you're well, safe and happy. J1 star learner of this week is somebody who work standard is absolutely outstanding. Every piece of work submitted is brilliant and I love marketing. So a huge well done to you, I'm number Over to J8. Okay, are we nearly ready? Your makeup doesn't look great. What do you mean my makeup doesn't look great? I spent two hours last week on it. I'm sure people will be very understanding. It is lockdown and we are economising. Still doesn't look great. Sorry? You look great, darling. You ready? Yes, of course I am. Hello mm. and... Where are you going? And welcome to J8 Star of the Week! Woo! Woo! have shout outs let's see oh just the one it's for mr harrison heidi and j5's dad and he would like a regal wave hello mr harrison yes, yes. and hello mrs harrison you're right Doug. this is j8 star oh, j8 star of the week again we've had lots of nominees for this children have been working so hard all week but this person has worked 110%. She's done all her maths, all her English, all her afternoon activities, and she's been making clay creatures. Well done, Ellie Clayton! Yay! Yay! We have another oh. Teacher of the Week, and Ruth's my favourite. Oh, she listened to me, that's good. So, Teacher of the Week is... Oh, Tim again. Another dinosaur for his mantelpiece. Let's see what's going on with I4. Good morning, I4. Hope you're all safe and well at home. Um, are you ready for this week's Home Learner of the Week? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story about our Home Learner of the Week. Once upon a time, there was a member of I4 who got up really early every morning. They looked at their timetable to find out what they needed to do. Making sure they watched the video first and then completing the activity as well as they possibly can. That sounds brilliant, but what's the best bit? The best bit of the whole story is how this person always asks me questions if they want help and shows a really great growth mindset because they check for feedback and then improve their work, which is absolutely Fantastic. So who's the winner? I4's Home Learner of the Week this week is Aisha. Well done, keep it up. And that children is the end. Until next week. Over to Upper Key Stage 2 with J5. Hi J5, wow, what a wonderful week of fantastic home learning it has been once again. Each and every one of you has blown me away this week once more. However, this week's winner is a boy and this young man is not only completing the task that I'm setting every day, but he's also going above and beyond completing extensions and completing additional work at home. So a huge well done this week goes to Sam. Well done, Sam. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Upper class J4. So in J4 this week, there has been some really excellent effort from loads and loads of you uh, in your home learning. Uh, and there are a few people who have just gone above and beyond. And one of those people is our star of the week this week. Now, I've made a memoji of them. And let's see if you can guess who it actually is. Well, did you guess? Well done, Hunter. And last but not least, I too. Belgrave and I too. It's Miss Superwork here. I've been so busy this week looking through I too's work and I've been impressed with everybody but I've only got one Home Learner of the Week award to give out and this week it goes to a boy who has overcome so many challenges over the last week. Not only is he new to Belgrave but he's only just been given his iPad which means he's had to learn all of the iPad skills at home but this has not stopped him. 
No, he's been submitting his maths and English work first thing in the morning every day. What a superstar and I cannot wait to meet him. Well done to my home learner of the week, Hakeem. Well done, Hakeem. So, well done to all the children that have won this week. Fantastic effort. Make sure you keep on working hard at home, getting some exercise and taking care of yourselves. Well done to all the staff and this week's winners for the best video goes to for her amazing costume and green screen rainforest. Mistake! Well done, mistake. Excellent performance. Chocolates will be arriving to you very shortly. See you all next week. Take care.